Hello, this is God of Seven, and today we're going to be adding music to the SSAT. Now, I have been working on Shining Stars lately. Is that because I've been mainly working on a bunch of tools for the SSAT? And the main ones I got so far are InfoTool and SYMBTool.exe. Now, we'll put them to play. So, in order to add the music that you want, you're going to need your extracted music files. You're also going to need your ROM, the music you're going to want to add, and uh, VGM transfer testing later on, and of course the My Info Tool and Symbol Tool, which I'll post in the description. Now I'm working on Nitro Studio, which will make this process a lot easier in the future. So I'll post a tutorial once I get that done and working, but for now we're just going to do this harder way. Well, not harder, but it's a little not too user friendly. So, yeah, let's get started, shall we? First of all, we're going to uh, put this where we want to, and we're going to go into sequence folder, and this is ID 79, so I'm just going to call this. Uh, 80 NCS BGM and I'm just going to call it Hydro Fire since that's kind of the theme here and now once I do that you can see it's going to always show up at the end of the list that's important you want your song to show up at the end of the list otherwise that might cause some problems now the thing with HydroFire here is it you in the banks folder it uses this it uses the water bank so here so I'll I'll let me be this will come into play later and you'll see how but for now I'm going to need to get these two tools info tool and SYB tool and I'm just going to put them right here. And then I'm going to make a new text file, call it run.bat, so I can just like, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert these bin files to text. So I'm going to go synbtool.exe, info, sorry, synb.bin, synb.txt, and infotool.exe, info.bin, info dot text and pause and I'm going to do a pause here so we know if anything goes wrong and now when we run this it should convert all the things we need and over here you can see we have SYMB dot text and info dot text which is good because we're going to need these so now what we're going to do is go in synb.txt and open it with notepad++ and I recommend notepad++ to make things easier. And simple enough, we're going to go down all the way here and see how it ends with VS close. Well if we look in our files, VS close is that one. So we're going to add NCS BGM hydro fire you can actually name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter I'm just going to name it hydro fire here and info.txt I'm going to copy this last line and I'm going to call this 79 because if we look at the file ID this is even though this is 80 let's it the file ID is going to be 79 like see this is one well well it says one here it's actually zero so 80 here is actually 79 so that's 79 and I'm actually going to look for the water because I want to sound have the same properties as the water which is if two is zero then uh 
then this would be 59 here. If I go to 59, I can see that the bank and volume are at 100. Let me just copy these values here. And the reason why I'm using 92 and why I selected B BGM Water is because I'm using the banks of BGM Water and I'm using the waves of BGM Water. And how and this is basically the bank ID in the list of banks. So over here, like if I go all the way down to banks, and if I were to look for number 92, number 92 would be, uh, no, I'm not even in the bank section. 92 would be water, which is right here. And this is bank ID 92 right here. So, yeah. And the channel priority and the player priority, I'm not completely sure what these things do, but they have to do somehow that with how it gets played and the volume is the volume sometimes you'll need to make it higher or lower depending on how your SSEQ turns out now the thing is we added a new file to the SSEQ sequence and how it read it is the first file in this is zero and then it goes through all the files then it goes to the sequence archive then it goes through all the files, then the bank, then the wave, in that exact order. But you can see here that these have the same, well, so we need to make them increment by one. Five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that you make them. See, you need to pay attention, otherwise you might mess up. I recommend keeping the spacing exactly like it should be. Wait, hang on, did I change that? Yeah, I did. It's always good to double check things. And you shouldn't have to interfere with the wave or the bank IDs unless you like added something in the middle of this. And basically, you're just going to go through all the file IDs and add them by one. And I'll be back once I do that. Okay, now once you are finished spending eternity going through this whole list of file IDs. Just going to take a quick glance about things here. And yeah, everything is looking good. So I'm going to just minimize that. And now over here, I'm going to to make a backup of these just in case. So I'm just going to put these bin files here just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to delete these two. Then when it says if you want permanently delete, hit yeah. Don't worry. And then over here, we're going to reverse this. We're going to put this here. And we're going to put that there. So now it's the complete opposite. We're converting the text files to uh, the bi binaries, and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, once you save this, next have it, run it, and it'll, uh, it'll create a new info in s1b.bin. I'm going to just paste those over here just in case as a backup and we need them again. And I'm going to just delete these and the run.bat. You need to make sure you delete those extra files here. And you're going to want to copy this in the address bar. Now open editor.exe, tools, make stat, paste that in there, and hit OK. 
And yay, you made the nest ad. Okay, good for you. Now let's open VGM trains and open our newly created SDAT. So we're going to go in documents, tutorial, which is where I put all my tutorial files. And it's going to be in the music files and archive the SDAT. Hopefully everything works just fine. Let me just. Yeah, that sounds fine. And uh, that doesn't sound right. Okay, over here, yeah, of course, it might have the names jumbled up a bit. Like BGM Shiro and stuff. Let me go in Water. Hmm. BGM Water. BGM VS Close. But yet, this has Shiro. And let's investigate this a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make these. I'm going to make a new folder and hit backup. Because I'm going to be compiling a new bin right here. I'm going to make a new text files and go to run dot bad what do I have here I'm just going to need to compile the info because something didn't work right info.txt and info.bin okay so I'm going to go into this info.txt and see what's the problem because the names are all correct it's just that this isn't. So the bank ID is set to 92. But the thing is, did we really set the correct properties here? No, I don't want to hex hit that. Anyways, let's look at BGM water. The lines for SSCQ should match up. So this is line 61. And this is line 61. And yeah, you can see that I just kind of messed up the banks and stuff. I got the wrong address, so let me just put those in there. Oops. Pair number zero. Let me save it by control S, X out of it. Run run.bat. Control X this. Put it in the archive. And there. Sometimes you just gotta troubleshoot this thing. And X out of that so we can make the SDAT file. Otherwise it won't work. And there we go. Now let's open it in VGM trans and see if everything worked correctly. And if we play it. You can hear that it all works well. Okay, so now let's inject the new S data into our ROM. Okay, and so let's go into file system, data, sound data, and hit replace. And we're going to replace it with, in the music files, archive.sdat. And then it won't give you a message, but there we go. Now let's say we want to play our new song. How would we do that? So what first we would need to go into the level we're going to put in. Let's just put in Lethal Lava Land because why not? We can, I guess. And in the level settings, here's what we're going to do. You can see we have the SWAR entry address and the SSCQ ID. Now let's go in here, and I'm going to load SYMB.txt with Notepad++. 
and the SSCQ ID is going to be this minus 2 since and why I say minus 2 is because this is ID 0 and it's at 2 so therefore since this is at 85 it must be 83 so I'm going to put 83 here but what is this it's not a SWAR entry address but a group address and if I go down into let me look for group and hit enter and then here you can see uh, a lot of things but what exactly are we looking for here you just kinda have to guess now if you're adding your own banks and waves and all that stuff I might make a tutorial on that another time but for now let's just assume that we're going to be using the water group here right here which is the one we would be using I mean BGM water would probably go with BGM water so let's try it Z this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 so we're going to put 15 in here and hit OK and that said 12 if we look at 12 it's group fire so we can see how this works and let's hit save and now let's open our ROM and dismute me now let me hit open ROM I'm going to go in documents tutorial and new music I'm going to open a new file. And you can see in the in the level the new song that I added is playing. But what you may realize is that some of the enemies may not, uh, some of the enemies may not play the sounds you want them to. And let me take a gander at why. I'm not completely sure about this, but if I go to BGM Modos, which is the song that originally plays, which is line 65. We go to 65 and the player is zero. Okay, so the players and the player priority and channel priority. Hmm, I don't know. The priorities are overall the same and the player numbers are also the same. I'm not completely sure why it's not playing some of the enemy sound effects, but it may be because it can only play certain amounts of songs at a time. But it's a pretty good thing that you can add your own music to the game without needing to do any assembly hacking or any recoding and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And now you can basically go add as many music as you want. I'll see you guys later.